Hello and welcome to my channel in the stars aligned. My name is Kelly Rowland and today we are looking at Venus in Scorpio. So this is within my Venus series. Our Venus placement in our astrology chart shows us how we show up for love both with ourselves and others. It also reflects where we value things the most, whether it's in relationships, in our personal life, um, in any connection, intimate or platonic. How someone really brings themselves to the table. We're looking at the planet Venus, and Venus is all about beauty, goodness, richness, expansion in the sense of love as well, and harmony in relationships. So when you have Scorpio, the sign of Scorpio, transiting through the planet of Venus, we have quite an intense lover here. Um, you, some would say that having Venus in Scorpio, it's a detriment. Uh, it's Venus in her detriment, meaning that she's in her fall and it's where she's not really uh, aligned to be. However, what I think of is the forbidden fruit. And the forbidden fruit tastes the sweetest. So if you are watching this as a Venus in Scorpio, or maybe you're watching this because your lover or your friend has their Venus placement in Scorpio. A golden thread of this kind of person who carries this placement is going to be that there's something forbidden about them. There's something secretive about them. There's something mysterious. It's like you want to get close, but you're also fucking terrified. And it can be intense as well for if you have this placement to discern how that moves through you, to learn how to be intense in your love when it's not only focused on someone else. And I would say that um, a Scorpio, a Venus and Scorpio lover, they don't go into relationships halfway. You may find that if you have this placement, it's very hard for you to have like a fling or a one night stand, unless it's very intense and very direct and very soul opening and you feel complete to close that chapter. There's something here about hanging threads, and I speak from experience because this is my placement as well, and I've gotten to know this a lot over, over the years and through my own personal experiences, and love is definitely an intense game for Venus and Scorpios, and it's kind of like you wanna show up fully to the table or not at all. So for you also, in terms of love and relationship, there's another core theme here, and it's trust is earned, not given. And whether that takes three days or three months, there's this natural process you need to go through in your relationships of discerning if you can trust someone. Because as a Venus in Scorpio, that Scorpio quality makes you very attuned to your lovers and the energetic space of a relationship or a connection. Again, whether it's business, whether it's sexual, whether it's romantic or friendship. You're very attuned to the energy. You're, you're an intense water sign, meaning you can empathize and pick up on what's going on in the space. And until you feel like the coin drop and you're like, ah, this person's got me. Like, not got me like they're caring for my emotions, but they're here. I feel their solidity. Then and only then do you allow yourself to open up. And oh my God, when you do open up, you are forced to be reckoned with. You can have the most powerful, intense sexual energy and also deep devotion. There's something in you that is so committed to your lovers. And as I said in the beginning, it's about how can you first establish that devotion to yourself? And I think this is a trap that a lot of Scorpios or Venus and Scorpios can get stuck in, is trying to seek and receive that devotion and trust and I'll give my life for you, I'll take a bullet for you. They're trying to put that on someone else rather than being that within themselves because the ultimate intimacy is intimacy with oneself. And when a Venus and Scorpio native can embrace a deep level of intimacy with themselves, really get to know the ins and outs of your romantic, sexual desires. You know, how do you love to be treated? How do you love to be touched? What feels really good for you? You need to do that work because you have such a profound depth in these arenas that it's gonna be very challenging for someone else to find them <laughs> if you don't find them first. So um, in order to have a really healthy, blossoming, fruitful, yummy relationship that has that level of devotion that you desire as a Sc Venus and Scorpio, you really need to swim through those internal waters first on your own. And other people can be a part of that, of course, but you're naturally gonna have some walls up. And you may think that your walls are up because the other person's not good enough or they can't match you. And sometimes that is the case. There's some people who just can't do Venus and Scorpio kinds of relationships and that's okay. You know, why would you force that? That's not what you wanna be in anyway. 
you will be too much for some people but that doesn't mean anything about them it doesn't mean anything about you it's just not aligned yet when you realize that it's not that something's wrong with everyone else in the world it's that you have such a refined deep potent penetrative style of love that it's like you have to figure that out for yourself and then teach someone <laughs> um, maybe it's not teach them because you may find that really challenging you, you kind of want to communicate in a very like somatic way Scorpio and Venus people you don't really communicate with words like this is what I need this is what you should do it's through your eyes it's through the movement of your body and you need a lover who can read your body, who's attuned in that way, and who enjoys being attuned in that way. This would be the ideal type of relationship for you. Again, whether it's sexual, whether it's romantic, whether it's a marriage, whether it's business or friendships, you really thrive in spaces where people enjoy opening up their energy to you, attuning to you, letting you attune to them, because a lot of people cast aside the Scorpio and like, scary and terrifying but actually the scorpionic energy and this sign in the astrology system is all about intimacy it comes right after libra and it's almost like it's building a staircase evolving and developing from libra libra is all about how can we keep the peace how can we have harmony how can we put on the nice face so that we can all be friends and that we can all love each other <laughs> and scorpio says let's get down to, let's get down to fucking business like i want to see your soul I want to see where you hurt because I want to love you there. Can you let me love you there? Can you let me hold you when you're crying? Can you hold me when I'm in a chaotic mess? Can we dance in that space and access deep intimacy that goes beyond the smiles, that goes beyond the warmth and the lightness? And this is what you want in relationship, Venus and Scorpio people. It's what you crave and also it's what you're built for. But don't project it on your lover. <laughs> Don't project it on your partner or your husband or your wife or your friends to just show up in that way for you because it's all vibrational, especially for you being a Venus and Scorpio. When you are aligned with the vibration of being aware of your deep needs, your deep desires, this erotic power within you, you are going to attract people who are aligned with that. And if you're not attracting them and if you keep attracting people who can't meet you and who don't want to go there, it's a sign that you probably have some more work to do on your own. And what a beautiful gift that is. You know, you're built for this. Scorpios are the, the deep divers. You're the kings and queens of transmutation, the phoenix rising from the ashes. Don't be afraid to get burned. Don't be afraid of rejection. It's just realignment. It's redirection. Now, if you're watching this as someone who loves or is interested or attracted or committed to someone who has Venus in Scorpio, the greatest gift you can give them is your honesty. I, I couldn't say that like enough. Honesty, authenticity, integrity, being really raw and vulnerable, even if it's terrifying for you, you couldn't be in safer hands. No, of course, not all Venus and Scorpios are made, are made alike. You wanna also feel like you're safe with this person and you know that they have a good heart and a good soul. But, I mean, who doesn't, right? I don't wanna say that in the wrong way, but you wanna feel safe as you, but trust that they got your back. And you'll actually find that that's when the intimacy and the power and that like sexiness of a Venus and Scorpio person, they want to pour that onto you. They want to bring you in there, into their, their kingdom of richness and share it with you and empower you. But they can't do that until they feel that you take that step, showing up vulnerably. And what you'll find is when you go down with them, you can reach the highest heights. So it's... That's not for everyone as well. Not everyone wants a relationship like that or a love like that. But for those who are open to it, it can be quite transformational. And that's really the name of the game for all of you Venus and Scorpio people. Um, any last things? You're extremely devoted, sometimes to a fault. You can get really attached to people if you open up vulnerably, if you open up sexually. Sometimes it can be more challenging for you to cut those cords and it can really sap a lot of your emotional energy. So be very discerning of who you share your energy with, who you open your heart to, who you open your sex to. Um, you know, there's all this talk about being open-hearted. That's not the case for you, Venus and Scorpio. So don't push yourself to have a wide open heart. And this is a lesson I'm learning. There's something to be said for being a bit hidden and secretive and that's like a natural 
healthy barrier to see who wants to go the distance because you know when you're in, you're in. So it's really healthy for you to have that. So uh, any other Venus and Scorpios out there, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know how this resonates and um, if you have any reflections from your own life, let's keep the conversation going. And I will see you for the next Venus series. Thanks for being here.